days of spring, many people might find it uh, difficult to get up in the morning and go to work. Uh, but here in Exton, employees at the International Envelope Company face even more difficulties once they get there. <laughs> Coming from their boss, but from the aggravated Canada geese who fill the air with more honking than a rush hour traffic tie-up because they've once again chosen the company parking lot as their nursery. This time every year it's like this. Because this is the nesting period right now. When you get near their nest, we go. <laughs> they actually come after you. If you get too close to the female, they'll start honking at you. When I got into my Jeep and it was attacking the top of the roof of the Jeep. We've had literally salesmen on the deck with their briefcases trying to protect themselves laying down because they get very aggressive and climb after your cars, on your cars, and everything else. A situation that makes the prospect of uh, walking through the parking lot to uh, get to your car uh, a special challenge for employees. I had one fly up in the air and I had to dive into my car. A dilemma that can be dealt with a number of ways. We've been told that uh, swans are more aggressive than the geese are and they will keep the geese away. Uh, dogs are another possibility. But the solution the company has decided to try is one that has, once again, filled the workplace with smiling faces. Not necessarily on the employees, but on the Mylar Sentinels that now stand guard in the parking lot and, surprisingly, are proving to be as much an affront to nuisance waterfowl as they are to good taste. Notice the happy faces. Yeah. Well, the geese notice eyeballs. I guess they assume it's going to threaten their nest. But as you can see, where the nests are, there's no balloons. And where the balloons are, there's no nest. And so we think that the experiment has some validity here. And certainly worth having the company grounds, looking like a decorator outlet for baby showers, all to ensure that arriving for work no longer ends up as a wild goose chase. <laughs> Next, and I'm Don Pollock, Channel 6 Action News.